Hi everyone, this is going to be a video walkthrough of problem three on CS61B Spring 2021 exam prep worksheet on LLRBs and hashing. Okay, so let's start with reading what the problem has to say. For this question, use the following TA class for reference. And we see here that we're given some sort of TA class. Okay, and then it says below that assume that the hash code of a TA object returns charisma and the equals method returns true if and only if TA objects have the same first letter in their name. Then we assume that EC hash map is a hash map implemented with external chaining as depicted in lecture. The EC hash map instance begins at size four and for simplicity does not resize. Draw the contents of map after executing the insertions below. Okay, so Let's first review how the put operation works in hash maps. Okay, so suppose that we have this array. Okay, and this is the internal array for our hash map. So, how the put operation, if we ever want to put an object into a hash map, we follow these three steps. The first step is we want to compute the hash code of the object that we are inserting. Okay. So for sake of an example, let's say that we are inserting this object called Soham. And let's say that Soham's hash code is the number 10, okay? So what we're going to do is compute the hash code. In this case, the hash code is going to be 10. Then what we're going to do is we're gonna take this hash code 10 and go to the correct index in the array, okay? Like at a high level, the whole purpose of getting this hash code is that we want to somehow reduce an object to a number so we can take this number, make it into an index and go to that index in a corresponding array, right? That's the intuition for why we have a hash code to begin with. So after we get this hash code, let's go to the correct bucket. How this works is we take the hash code, it's very simple, and we modulo it by the length of the array. In this case, it's very simple. We take 10 and we do modulo two, which is the length of the array. And then we're going to go to bucket zero. So this is bucket zero. After going to bucket zero, what we're going to ask ourselves is, does Soham or the object we're inserting already exist? Okay, so to answer this question at each bucket, this case the hash map is empty, but usually we'll have some sort of linked list here, okay, containing all the people at that bucket in the hash map. So what we want to do is we want to iterate through this linked list and ask ourselves if Soham is equal to any of these objects. If Soham is equal to any of the objects in that linked list, we update the value of that key value pair. If we iterate through the whole linked list and we don't see anybody that's equal to Soham, we create a new link and we insert it at the end. Okay, to summarize, the third step is iterate through linked list. And then it's kind of more than three steps, but I'm going to make it into a sub-step. The sub-step is that, oh, I'm going to get rid of this quickly. If equal key will override the value, otherwise, insert the key value pair at the end, okay? So these are the steps for how the put operation works. And with this in mind, let's dive into the problem, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're gonna start off by creating a TA Soham and a TA Vivant, okay? I'm gonna see if we have enough space on the screen so my face doesn't cover. Okay, there we go. So I already created the Soham and Vivant instances on the right-hand side. 
The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to execute map.put of Soham comma one. So let's walk through the put process as we described up here. Okay. The first thing that we want to do is compute the hash code of what we're inserting. Okay. In this case, we're inserting Soham. So we say the hash code is the charisma because that's what Soham's hash code specifies because he's a TA. Okay. So what we're going to say is the hash code of Soham is 10. Now what we're going to do is we want to go to the correct bucket. So we take this hash code and we do modulo four and we get the bucket that we want to put Soham in, which is bucket two. Okay. That's the bucket. The next thing that we're going to do is iterate through everybody at bucket two and ask ourselves, is Soham already there? So we see that nobody really exists at bucket two, so we can create a new link. Okay. And for this problem, whenever I create a link, it's going to have a key, a value, and then this is the next pointer in the linked list. Okay. So no one is there. Right, that's the third step. Nobody was there in the linked list. Okay, so let's just quickly fill these in. Let's use purple. So the key is going to be Soham. The value is one because that's what's specified right here. And there's nobody else in the linked list, so we'll put the null for the next pointer. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is put Vervant in this hash map. And I'm going to mechanically walk through this process so it may get repetitive, but I think that's a good sign. So let's walk through those steps again. We take Vivant. We say, what's your hash code? Vivant's hash code is 20, right? So we take this hash code of 20, right? We have a hash code 20 and we do 20 mod four. And then this gives us bucket zero. So we go to bucket zero. And we say, does Vivant already exist here? Nobody exists there. So we create a new link. Let's create a new link. Okay. So we create a new link. And then we're going to put in the values of key VN. And then we're going to notice that the value is two and the key is Vivant. Okay. So let's move on to the next line of execution is we increase the charisma of Vivant by two. So how that translates is now we have 22 here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to execute map.put Vivant of three. So what we've noticed is that now when we execute map.put of Vivant, we're going to go to a different bucket than we went to last time, right? Different than this time. And one thing I want to emphasize is that this is a bad practice, okay? The following equals and hash code methods of the TA class aren't good hash code or equals methods, right? And because of that, we're gonna get some unexpected behavior as this problem shows. So let's keep that in mind. But anyways, what we wanna do now is we take Vivant's hash code, which is 22. We do module of four, which tells us to go to bucket two. So we go to bucket two, right? And every time we go to a bucket, we ask ourselves, is the object that we're inserting already there? How do we know that the object we're inserting is already there is we call dot equals on the object we're inserting and what's already at that bucket, right? So what we do is we say is Vivant equal to the key that's at this bucket, right? This key is Soham. And then we realize that Vivant and Soham are not equal because their first letter of their names are different. That's our equals method, right? Our equals method says, is one person's name, the first letter equal to the first letter of the other person's name, right? So we see that this is not the case. So what we do is we create a new link. Okay, and then we're going to insert Vivant here. So the value is going to be three, and this is the corresponding state of our hash map. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to temporarily change Soham's name to Voham. 
Okay, so let's make Soham's name Voham. And now what we're going to notice is that when we do map.put of Vivant in four, okay, we will again go to bucket two, right? After going to bucket two, we're going to compare this key to the object we're inserting, right? So we're going to say is Voham, oh, that's not illegible, is Voham equal to Vivant, right? Is Voham dot equal Vivant, right? So we see that this is true because Voham and Vivant now share the same first letter of their name. So what's going to happen here is that if we ever find an equal key, we're going to override the value of that key. OK, so what that means is that now we're going to change this value to the value inserted, which is four. But one very, very important thing to emphasize is that we don't change the key, right? The old key remains, OK? So we still have a reference to Roham in this link right here, OK? Continuing with the problem. And the next thing that we want to do is increase Soham's charisma by two. What that means is now Voham has a charisma of 12. Okay. So now we're going to execute map.put of Voham and five. Okay. Or it's Soham, but like <laughs> his name is still Voham. So let's walk through these steps once more. What we're going to do is we're going to take Voham, and we're going to say, what's your hash code? Voham's hash code is 12. 12 mod 4 gives us 0, which means let's go to bucket 0 and see, does Voham exist at bucket 0? So after going to bucket 0, we compare the key to the key that we're inserting, right? And we realize that Voham is still equal to Vivant, so we don't insert Voham, we merely update the value. OK, we're almost there. Hang with me. The last thing that we need to do now is we change Soham's name back. Phew, Voham was not a great name. OK, then we create a new TA instance called Shuba. So let's create a new TA instance. And we kind of did, did so already. Now what we're going to do is we're going to execute map.put of Shuba and six. So let's walk through the steps. What's Shuba's hash code? Shuba's hash code is 24. We take the hash code and we do modulo the length of the array. This gives us zero. So we go to bucket zero and we ask ourselves, does Shuba already exist at bucket zero? How do we check this? We iterate through every link of the link list and we call dot equals, okay? So we ask is, whatever is living at this spot right here equal to what we're inserting. More rigorously, is Vivant equal to Shuba? No, Vivant is not equal to Shuba. So what we want to do is create a new link. OK, so we create a new link. OK, and then I'm going to quickly change these arrows. And then we see the key of the new link is going to be Shuba. The value is going to be six, and the next is null. So that is all for this problem. I hope you guys enjoyed this video walkthrough, and good luck with the rest of the worksheet.